What's good with the YouTube? It is your boy Vaughn. As you guys can see by the title, I am back with a new video for you guys today. And in this one, we are going to be reacting to the Logan Paul situation gets much worse. I know Logan Paul and Dylan Dennis are about to fight coming up soon. I think they have a boxing match exhibition scheduled or whatever. I haven't been keeping up with it uh, because I really don't care to like that, but I do know about it. So I'm kind of interested to see. I know how Dylan Dennis is as a person. Like I see him on social media all the time talking crazy to the biggest names and all this and that. Like he's he's really a bum, bro. Like I'm keeping 100. He's really a bum. Like he just be talking. He's just a bad person in general. I think he's been talking crazy about Logan Paul or whatever the case may be, taking it too far apparently it's from what i was seeing so we're gonna dive into this and we're gonna see if you guys know more about this than i do please let me know in the comment section down below while you're down there the original video will always be in the description down below and follow all my social media links please and thank you and without further ado we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get right into this let's get it has he gone too far on twitter has it affected you in any way i think he has gone too far yeah it's not affected me, no, because when I entered this fight, I knew Dylan was a scumbag. So at this mm. point, guys, it has been almost okay. I did see this on social media. Press conference went down between Logan Paul and Dylan Dennis. I'm sure that most of you guys understand. Like he looks like a bum. Just look at him, a bum, bro. Nobody likes this dude. Or like, kind of surrounding this whole situation, the Paul brothers overall have had beef with this guy for years now. And Dylan, I know you're watching this, and just remember, you're still. I hooked up with your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Savannah, what's good? Talk your shit, doing? Jay. <laughs> He's been known for ducking fighters, okay? He did not have the best reputation within the fighting community. And I think when Logan first announced that this would be his next opponent, the average person could really care less. I mean, this wasn't really a name that was going to garner a lot of hype. That part. But Dylan has really taken this whole situation and really flipped it on its head, as his relentless Twitter trolling has shown to be an amazing tactic. And not only selling this fight, but also building up a large amount of people who now want to see him win. And to be frank with you guys, the trolling has not stopped. He's posted countless pictures of Logan Paul's fiance with other men, and he's still teasing that he has some sort of picture or some sort of video that would pretty much be like dropping a nuke on not only the internet, but also on Logan Paul's entire life, including his engagement. You think you've gone too far? It's a mental warfare that you could beat a man in three ways, you know, physically, mentally, and spiritually, you know, and that's the art of war, you know, Sanzu. I read the books. You know, I'm very well versed in the game, so I think I already broke him mentally, and I could tell he is going to be emotional in there. Just like when Roberto Durant fought Sugar Ray Leonard, Sugar Ray Leonard used to be on the outside and be an outside fighter and pick everybody apart, and Roberto Durant, like, antagonized him so much he became like a brawler and he, he lost so i think logan i'm in his head i think i'm just chilling in there now while i do but my thing is i'm not gonna lie dylan dennis why does he have to why does he need to do these things to fight logan paul because he'd be talking crazy to all the boxers the heavyweights like ufc fighters i always see him on social media talking crazy if you really that nice and you this and that why you need all that extra shit bro you a bum I believe Logan Paul will beat your ass. I believe I believe you can't really box at all, to be honest. Like you, the way you be talking on social media posts is crazy, from what I see. And I don't even know you. I don't really care. But like what I'm saying is that you doing all this, and it's a boxing exhibition that you guys agreed to. Like you guys are getting paid for it, this and that, and you need all this extra shit in order to break a man mentally or whatever the case you want to call it just a box like I do find you're trash. what dylan has done get in the ring and throw them hands kind of that's all you gotta like do recently he apparently brought a newborn baby into the world and in the first picture that he took with the babies holding him there at his chest the first thing he thought to do with said picture was to use it to troll Logan and his fiance, which to me is just a little bit strange. Mm. But I do also think that Dylan has now backed Logan into a bit of a corner where this whole fight has really ended up being a lose-lose situation for him. I mean, I won't lie to you guys, if Dylan goes into that ring and ends up knocking Logan Paul out, that is going to be an even bigger hit to his career than the one he's currently under. I also I found this to be very interesting. Some of Logan Paul's both current and past friends have now weighed in on the whole controversy, with his former co-host George Janko apparently even inviting this man onto his podcast. George also hinted in a video last week that he might now be joining forces with Jake Paul and be the new co-host on his podcast, which is obviously going to result in even more drama between the Paul brothers. First text I read is from him. He goes, dude. <laughs> the manager, the manager. Yeah. He goes, dude, Jake wants you to be a co-host. I go, what the? News. 
watching somebody you respect and you grew up with in the industry have your back publicly. Then his friends like, by the way, his music rocks. And then his other friends like, by the way, this guy's actually a nice guy. I'm sitting here like, oh, oh my God, oh my God, this is crazy. And you know, I have been kind of rough on George in the past, but I'm definitely here for his revenge arc. And the fact that he, as one of Logan Paul's former best friends, is willing to have this guy on his podcast and give him his platform, George really feels about him. Even Yes Man Mike went out of his way to weigh in on all the drama surrounding his master. Dude, and, uh, Logan is being slaughtered by from all angles right now, bro. <laughs> And this morning, Aiden Ross invited Dylan onto his live stream. He had Dylan choking him out, showing him some different moves. But this has to be the most interesting thing to come out of that stream. Like we talked about previously, Dylan apparently has some sort of image, some sort of video that he says will ruin Logan Paul's life. And apparently this piece of media could even end up landing Dylan in jail. And here he mm. is apparently showing Aiden Ross that image. So you don't know my Bro, what the f***, bro? I told you I wasn't lying. I'm, you're getting, now you get a doubt from me. No, that is wild, bro. I actually feel really bad. Tell wow. me if I, I they would pull the fight if I pulled it. Definitely. Like, that's that's too far. You think so? Bro, come on, bro. But should I save him from his, his girl? Ah, God, dude. What? How do you, how? How do you even have that? I have more. Is it another one? <laughs> bro, my heart hurts. Oh, God. For him or her? Like, in general, bro. Yeah, that's and so a obviously dang. Obviously, there's been a lot of speculation over this forbidden image. And after that video went viral of Dylan and Aiden, another video started circulating the web of what appeared to be Logan Paul's fiance Nina being involved in this type of activity right here. 100 glizzies and dream glizzy overdrive. <laughs> hey, yo! <laughs> I know a lot of people hate this guy on TikTok, but honestly, I think he's an evil genius. Now, I will say in regards to that alleged video of his fiance giving the Glock Glock 9000, there's been a lot of sources out there suggesting it is not her in that video. And this alleged piece of forbidden media that Dylan has his hands on is something completely different. And in the last little update regarding this Logan Paul situation as it stands right now, I showed you guys last time he even had beef with Gideon. Okay, he was calling him a clout chasing bitch. And when Logan recently went on Flagrant 2 where they were pretty much sucking him off the entire time, that is everyone outside of the black guy, I believe his name is Alex, was the only one to keep it real, Gideon had this reaction when they brought up their beef. And fucking Dennis. An actual evil human. Okay. Why? <laughs> bro, this nigga's yapping. <laughs> like, this is Mr. Yap a lot. Like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's your bo Logan. He, my bad. Forest man. He's your boogeyman. <laughs> Not Forest. He's man. an evil person to you. <laughs> Not Slender man. Dylan Dennis. No, nobody in this world is losing sleep over Dylan Dennis except for you. <laughs> he up your world. <laughs> he up my world. Just for a little context, Logan was pretty much saying, how could Gideon be this God-fearing man? How could he be this good Christian and then side with someone as evil as Dylan Dennis? When let's be honest, while what Dylan has been doing on Twitter has been a little bit corny, Logan Paul's track record of scamming his fans, and of course we all know what he did out in Japan, as well as yeah. a couple of other shady moves. Man, he ruined a lot for us. YouTubers in Japan. It's along the way is way worse than posting up publicly available images of somebody. Do you know how much you gotta f somebody up from just saying stuff on Twitter that they're calling you a evil person? <laughs> <laughs> Going at a g dude's wife, like I'm not gonna lie, that's some that's some pretty low stuff. But it's not f evil, devious, menacing. Yeah, <laughs> evil. You filmed the. Like, that's evil. Mm -hmm. Realistically speaking, a guy that's just putting pictures up of your old fiance that are already on the internet, that's, you know, that's just shit talking. You, you, you went to a place to find a You were, you literally, the place is called Forest. It wasn't like the place was called Forest with rainbows and sunshine. The shit is called Forest. You went there with a camera 
<laughs> and it was just like, oh, yeah, wow, this is nice. We got a nice tree. Oh, look at that deer uh, over there. What the? I mean, do we even need to say anything about this clip? Hey, I'm not going to lie. Jadion is spitting facts right here, though. Ever since that happened, if you're a content creator, you know. YouTube went to an ad apocalypse when, J when Logan Paul did that. It was insane, bro. It was insane. The People started removing their ads from videos, all kinds of stuff. It was horrible for us, bro. And now, I'm, honestly, Logan Paul is one of the biggest reasons that YouTube is where it is today. You can't really post explicit content and stuff like that like we used to back in the day when YouTube was fun, bro. Like you gotta switch up the content. You gotta do more friendly content. You gotta you gotta be more aware of what you're posting now on YouTube because they'll take that shit away from you if you're getting too crazy with it. And that's all thanks to Logan Paul. No cap. I will say that. This man him and look, him and Dylan, I don't care about seconds. neither of them. They are horrible people point. in general. After watching this, I am very interested to see exactly what Dylan Dennis has. I don't know if I'll ever like just go look it up because like I don't be paying attention to social media like that. What's going on? But if it happens, if I happen to come across it and I see it, I will look and be like, I wonder what my reaction is going to be. I wonder how crazy it's going to be. We'll see. We'll see, man. But hey, that does it for this one. Original video in the description down below. Let me know what you guys think about Logan Paul and Dylan Dennis. Who's going to win the fight? or how you guys feel about them in general please follow all my social media links as well while you're down there i appreciate you guys for the continued support and i will see you guys in the next one we are out peace